most of the competitive exams are almost over guys and many of you are wondering what are the different options that i have what are the different colleges that i can go to so we have come up with an amazing amazing community for you guys i have many of my friends on top colleges like nit trishi iit bombay with plani you name it probably every other college in the country i've got people and i've got so many of my friends so make sure to fill the link in the by link in the description so that we can add you to a group and you'll be able to ask them like what are the different options available should i prefer a better branch or i prefer a better college so we've got it covered for you you have nothing to worry about so make sure to fill your number and your details and your details are not going to go anywhere else but you'll just be added to a group and you'll be able to ask and inquire people hello guys welcome back to the channel so we have hardik with us so hard bachelor of mine from computer science department so he is the, the highest package holder of the sem2 placements he got an offer from paypal and then he got an offer from google research and he got an offer from carnegie mellon university he got an offer from eth zurich so he's and he's one of the department toppers in bitsgo as well and so he's one of the really really smart cool guys very extremely humble guys that i've come across so let's understand like he initially was not very keen in research and he wanted to go for placement but later on he just chose the path of going for masters and he talks about his journey in college he talks about the importance of student projects the importance of college projects the importance of working with professors what makes a resume stand out so a lot of these things we have discussed and at the same time i know many hardik was also part of the master over project so which was one of the really really cool projects which really helped him with this master's applications so we'll start from there so we talked about how the master over project really helped him with his applications and how people can go about doing their own student projects and how they can collaborate with professors so that they can improve their professor profile for their masters and other job applications as well let's get started Be colleges where like these kind of student projects are not very active. In colleges, with I mean, there are a lot of student projects going on. Right. So if there are no projects, the professors are not that good in your college. So how do you proceed forward? If you if you are self motivated and if you want to proceed forward. Right. Um. So in that People case, yeah. yeah. So in in that case, I think uh, I I know for the fact that on Coursera there are some self projects that you can do wherein mm. you'll get guided. Mm. Uh, so you can start off with those projects. Mm. Um. yeah uh, that is one thing second thing is if you are interested in a particular uh, like area for example let's say you are interested in nlp or uh, yeah so let's say you are interested in nlp and maybe you can contact other profs other good profs in india mm. so uh, like professors in iits mm. are always looking for students mm. to you know work on so you can directly mail them mm. that i'm free in the summer mm. or i have some time this semester and I'm really interested in this topic. Mm. Mm. Maybe if I can work with you, Got that it. is one idea. Or if you if you have gained certain expertise in a topic and you mm. have an idea about how you can proceed, mm. uh, then maybe you can start your own student project. Mm. So like every project mm. was started by someone. Yeah. So yeah, like you can start your own project. So how do you uh, what are the good projects to do? I mean, if you're in AI especially, like there's always the typical hand type mission problem, those mm. kind of. Vision, like how do you push beyond that? How did you go on with your personal projects if you had any? I mean, uh, okay, I I haven't had any personal projects with I, which I pursued on my own. Uh, there was one plan of uh, doing like you have a chess screenshot, you have a screenshot from a laptop of a chess, mm. uh, of a chess uh, position, and then you convert it to. PGL, mm. which is a chess format, and then you can upload it to mm. chess or chess dot com. Mm. That was an idea that I had. I tried doing it, mm. but then halfway I realized someone is already there, <laughs> so then I left it. Okay. But yeah, like uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't uh, actually done a self project properly just mm. on my own yet. Mm. But how how what is it like to be working with a professor? Like how what is the dynamics like? I mean, I've also worked with professors, but then it's not like pure ML ML stuff. It's more like data analytics and stuff. Yeah. But then in case of a research oriented project where you publish papers and stuff like how what is the work like like how do you collaborate with prof yeah so the uh, the first thing is that you decide on a problem statement that we want to push this problem like we want to push the boundary of this problem statement further mm -hmm. so for example uh, one thing which i worked on was monocular depth estimation mm -hmm. which is you just have a single rgb image mm -hmm. uh, how can you get the depths of or relative depths of each pixel in that mm -hmm. So yeah, that that is one. So you just decide on a problem statement. Uh, next thing is that 
which I think kind of people would agree is kind of boring but then you need to get acquainted with the existing literature in the problem mm. so you need to read up papers yeah, people. which have solved the existing problem right. yeah and then uh, uh, try to come up with your own ideas mm. I mean how do you so mostly what happens is at undergrad level is that you try to modify an existing technique mm. or if the prof is really good then you have a very good proof of concept for mm. you know what will work uh, or he might like it might not work but uh, he'll have a very good idea of how to approach mm. initially mm. and then once I think if you spend 3-4 months on the same problem statement gradually you'll also get mm. try like you'll also get ideas of what we can try and what you cannot initially that might not work but yeah like that's how the yeah. process of PhD yeah. also yeah. Works. you keep working yeah. with yeah. Yeah, so we put the AI course together, so there's some standard techniques that we have, HS, HMMs, Markov models, uh-huh. MDPs, yeah. RL and these kind of things. So how do you push beyond that? Like, I've learned the basics, so like, from there if I want to start and if I want to build something, does it, does it, is it even useful, the AI course, I mean, according to you, what is the... Okay, so, uh, what we learned in AI was mostly, uh, like, towards the end what you mentioned, this is all part of RL and mm-hmm. bandit theory. So I haven't, I haven't ever done a project on that. <laughs> I only worked on deep learning. Uh, my project was machine learning, but again, that was that was very superficial. Yeah. So even I'm not sure how to push beyond this, but like f- for what interested me, the like the course that you did, what was what part of that was interesting for me was that uh, like this has a lot of applications in robotics. Oh. Okay. So I always wanted to learn RL, but for some reason yeah. I couldn't get time. This was like kind of a very good stepping stone for me. Wow. So, yeah. yeah, like now, like if you can see, like we, I think we also discussed in class that you have an example of a, you can model a robot as an agent and mm, yes, the yes, world yes. as yeah. your environment. Yeah. So yeah, there are a lot of interesting problem statements mm-hmm. around this. So this yeah. was a, like a very good. Yeah, I finally like I didn't have to put extra effort to learn this. Mm-hmm. I learned yeah. it through the course. So I mean, like if you just do an AI course, I mean, as a part of your college, I mean, I think it makes sense as a starting point to like male professors like yeah, for yeah. working in robotics I mean okay I've done something like this so maybe we can work on the thing together right like it, it I think it will be too much to expect from a course to mm. teach you a lot but uh, like the best thing it can do is uh, like make you aware that these kind of things exist mm. then it's up to you to decide okay I'll, I want to try this I find this a little bit interesting mm. then you can go on the net and search for mm. you know, more relevant material nice yeah man what I mean I think you so, yeah, no. I think you've been super to learn since like your first year, I mean, and do you have any like future goals? What is your goals, I mean, post CMU, I mean, post ETH, what? Uh, I mean, any start, you want to start up or like you want to study more? Uh, <laughs> I'm not honestly sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I think, well, honestly, like, I feel um, the knowledge that you've gained in undergrad is kind of superficial, so. Really? Ah, yeah. Yeah, so first thing I think would be. Yeah, like I want to learn more in my masters. Yeah. Um, maybe course work is not the best way to do that, yeah. but hopefully I'll get access to some good profs. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can you know get to learn more yeah. out there. Then then maybe I'll have more clear picture about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I suppose let's say like I I don't really plan on doing higher studies as at the moment at least. I mean, uh-huh. so is there a way for me to like contact professors abroad and then like work with them like on a part time basis? Like, how do you? What is the uh, during your working or? Yeah, like part time, like in the weekends or like some, yeah. some, some kind of time. Right, so I think one thing would be that you can ask some bits prof with who's your, whom, like whose course you have taken or whose course you have not taken but you just approach them. Uh, so I think they should be more than happy because mostly profs are looking for students too. Mm. Profs are usually very busy, they'll have, mm. they'll have an idea which they want to try out but they are busy to actually write code and mm. uh, implement it. So they are always looking for students to work with them. So yeah, one thing is approach them and yeah, I think you should just train them mostly. Mm. And for the corporate research, they have summer internships for research programs. Okay, okay. Yeah, so for, you know, for corporate research, they have uh, somewhere in terms of research. Oh, okay. Damn. Thank you so much for any advice or second year or third year or final year students who want to get into AI or any in plan on doing masters or placements. I think you've done all of them, like placements. Like, I think you got the highest value in SEM2 placements, right? I think that's, uh, that's you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but like, yeah, so my, I don't have any particular advice, uh, but 
Yeah, I would say like contrary to what you asked me about how to get into AIL, but I would suggest that like it is currently a very big uh, talking point and you know it's a very trendy term AIL, but I would highly suggest that you like give a chance to other fields as well mm-hmm. like in computer theory, like computer science theory is also very interesting and I'm like, I kind of regret sometimes that I should have explored that a bit more I should have okay. given have, I should have given that topic also some chance during my four years yeah so but yeah like just try things out in your first and second year don't be you know too fixated upon just one topic because we really don't know as undergrads what like it's just mostly what we hear from people so yeah. don't have any preconceived notions about any topic beforehand just try them out for yourself for a couple of months if it doesn't work out for you then you can move on but yeah like you should give everything a chance yeah. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I mean, if you did like the video, make sure you like, share and subscribe as well. And the channel is just getting started. So it would be great if you can just show a little bit of support and share with your friends as well. Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye bye.